Good morning. It is really still morning this morning after yesterday's winds. I've just been out and fed the chickens and I thought I'd show you some bits around the garden as to why autumn's autumns are different. Well, they're not as you would expect an autumn to be. For example, these are our elderberries and they're still green. There's one or two starting to turn, but I'll bring down another sprig. They are also starting to shrivel. And there's no leaves, or well, very little leaves left on the tree. Because we get these really cold, strong winds, and they basically trash the tree before they have time to ripen the berries. We're not in a particularly sheltered spot here. Um, well, not completely exposed spot, but there are more sheltered places on the island where you will get berries ripe, especially in the town, but not so much here. So that's why we don't have a typical autumn. The leaves just get shriveled and ripped off the tree before they get to turn autumnal. Here's our apple trees. Well, that's one of our apple trees. And that's a cockerel you can hear. And I took the last of these apples off here the other day because this is what happens to the trees. They just dry out, shrivel up, and get ripped off. We got loads of apples off these this year. There was actually only a few I had to take off physically. The rest kind of fell off or just kind of, you, if you um, get an apple in your hand, just kind of gently lift if it comes off itself then it was about to drop anyway there was only maybe three or four I had to physically take off a few days ago because I knew we had some bad winds coming um, another one just shoveling up another cat she can hear the birds Doing. What are you doing? What are you doing? Are you going to jump up? Cats are loving the weather this morning. I'm kind of depressed and bored because they've been stuck in the house. Well, not stuck in the house, but they don't like the really bad winds. Willow especially doesn't like the wind. We do have a lot of rose hips though. They're hanging on. These actually weren't, this is actually a dog rose, but it wasn't originally. It's just that the rose has re sprouted from the rootstock, and obviously the rootstock was dog rose. We've got a couple of them that have done that in the garden, which is fine. I really don't mind. Hi, Holly. So I've already been up around oh, an hour and um, John's at work today so that means I get to do all the bitty bitty morning chores uh, first thing. I um, haven't even had my coffee yet. Uh, the chickens are out. Um, I've been fed. The It's recycle bin day so the bin has been taken down our track of a drive. Laundry's on and uh, cats are all out playing somewhere. So I'm just going to take a 15 minute break, have some coffee, have some, have a bagel, do some knitting, watch a podcast or part of a podcast and uh, before I crack on with the rest of my needs to do things for the day.
has happened. And you can tell it's October, so I've just tried to come into the caravan a little bit ago to get some fabric. That's why I usually store my fabrics and I do my dyeing in here. And I couldn't unlock the door. It was closed. And I tried to open it and it wouldn't open. So I figured, oh, it's locked from the inside. I must have accidentally locked it when I last came out the other day. So I had to climb in through the other door, which by sheer chance was unlocked. It normally is locked. So I got the old key and I tried to do it and I couldn't do it. So I crawled in and found out this. This is really weird because normally when it's open, that handle is there when it's unlocked. And when you want to open it from the inside, it goes down like that. And when you want to lock it from the inside, like if you want to be, I don't know, if you were camping somewhere, you would push the handle up and it goes to there. But it was right over here on its own and I cannot get this to go back. I've managed to open the door. should be here when it's locked or oh, maybe it's there
So I'll finish up some of my project bags. They're not the best to finish on them. I'm not the it's not that I don't like sewing. I find it really frustrating that I get really annoyed with my sewing machine. Um but you know it does the job, they're only for me and they're Halloween themed so I can put um a pair of socks in one and a pair of mittens in the other. Um I've got to put everything away now. I've got to go feed the chickens, feed the cats make dinner we're supposed to be having dal and onion bhaji for tea um which i've got to make and probably watch a movie later tonight when john gets in maybe the quiet hour maybe tucker and deal versus evil not sure yet depends what mood john's in when he gets home and we'll see what we're gonna watch so thank you for watching today and see you again tomorrow i've just bent the pause box and look at these Yarns come. Can I just say that this, which is I think called Venetian, yep, is the perfect shade of red. This is my favourite shade of red. It's a little darker on the video, but it is perfect. Get myself something nice with that, and I've got some of the Noble which feels gorgeous we've got a bit of on there. which is geelong which is a type of or geelong i'm not sure which is a type of merino and that's merino cashmere and which one is it this one is a ball of the same and that's super soft that's super soft and this one is Tides, which is wool silk. New yarns and pretties.